Well, it's been a rough few weeks for teachers, but some are still finding time to give back. Not only to their students, but also doctors and nurses on the front lines of this pandemic. This all just comes off. And now you've got a mask. This is just one of around 200 masks being made every week, 3D style, by machines operating nonstop. I'll come in and make sure that's all good. It's better than all good when you find out who's cranking out this personal protective equipment. Big name tech company, medical supply business, nope. They're being made by teachers in the Folsom Cordova School District. Our CTE programs are a perfect fit for the crises that we're having now. This one's ready to print up. CTE, or the Career Technical Education Program, includes teachers from nine different schools. Working from home when they're not putting together a lesson plan for their students, they're using at home 3D printers to send to a partner hospital. Doctors and nurses in the Mercy Medical Group, who couldn't be more thankful. Just rose to the occasion to help us um, make these, these masks through their 3D printers. It's phenomenal, um, our community support. And district officials couldn't be more proud. Our teachers have absolutely gone above and beyond in response to the crisis, not only with their own students and their own classrooms, but also for the greater good. Doug Lewin is one of those teachers. Besides teaching, right, you want to feel part of what's going on. And sitting at home, you just don't feel, you feel a little isolated. In this way, hey, I feel like I'm doing my little small piece. Teachers finding a new meaning and direction in these uncertain times. Unmasking a new purpose designed to save lives. Important point to make, uh, these masks aren't meant to replace the N95 masks, but to use in conjunction with those.